Let's make a resin flower coaster. So today I'm going to be using the regular epoxy resin from Let's Resin. This is their normal one-to-one -one ratio formula. So when you do resin, you want to use um, equal parts A and B if your resin is a one-to-one -one ratio epoxy like this one is. So you want to make sure your parts A and B are completely equal. So here I'm adding in eight ounces part A and then I'm going to add in eight ounces part B. And I was working on a few different projects when I did this, but if you were just going to make one coaster, four ounces would be enough for this mold. So you would need two ounces part A and two ounces part B. You have to make sure that your parts A and B are completely equal or your resin may not set up properly. So just make sure that it's spot on when you're measuring. Um, take your time and double triple check and make sure that they're equal and when you mix your resin I recommend a silicone spatula or anything um, plastic like this this is not silicone it's more of like a plastic mixing um, apparatus that I like to call it but you want to use something like this because the big wooden stir sticks leak air they're not sealed or treated in any way so they will introduce more air bubbles into your resin so i'm just going to mix this up for three minutes mix slowly and you can see there's like striations and stringy lines in your resin just take your time mix slowly scrape the sides of your cup scrape the bottom of your cup scrape off your stir stick and then we're gonna just mix this up for three minutes this video is a little bit more of a tutorial i've had a lot of people message me on facebook and ask me you know for longer tutorials so that is what i'm going to be making going forward i'm going to be posting at least two videos a month so make sure that you follow me or subscribe to my youtube channel naptime creation so you don't miss any of my future videos so I mixed up those parts A and B together, and now I'm pouring that mix into another clean cup. This is how I mix up my resin, and if you do it this way, you will guarantee your resin is 100% mixed. This is called the double cup mixing method. Highly recommend that you mix your resin like this because when you start out with resin, sometimes your resin is under mixed and that means your projects will not set up properly. They will not cure and it will not be a good time. So I just took my little um, scraper mixing tool and scraped out every single drop that was in that mixing cup and now i'm going to mix for another three minutes in this new cup and you can use the original stirring apparatus this cup is really deep and my original one i didn't want to use that one so i just grabbed another one but you're good to use that original um, stirring item or stirring tool that you use to mix your resin. I like the silicone spatulas. You can get them for pretty inexpensive. They work great. Then when you're done mixing, just wipe them off with a little 91% isopropyl alcohol and a paper towel and you're good to use them again next time. And when you work with resin, you do want to work in a well ventilated area and I recommend you wear a respirator mask and use nitrile gloves. So I mix that up for three minutes and now we're going to get ready to start pouring. I'm going to use these two little mixing cups here and this is Galaxy Pigment from Let's Resin. It's a gorgeous color. These little cups hold one ounce of clear. So I added two pea-sized amounts of that mica powder and I'm just going to give it a good mix making sure it's completely mixed up. And we're gonna be making a flower coaster today. So after I mixed up these pigments, I let them sit for 25 minutes, okay? You wanna make sure your resin sits when you try these flowers because the temperature of your resin 100% makes a difference on how they turn out. So if you're using this Let's Resin Epoxy, mix it, let it sit for 25 minutes, and then do your flower. I'm using the Ocean White also from Let's Resin. And this is how much I add, just one drop in one ounce of clear, and that is all you need to make beautiful resin flower coasters. Mix it up really well, make sure it's completely mixed. All the products I'm using today are from Let's Resin. You can get them from their website and discount code NAPTIME will give you a discount. If you're watching this video on YouTube, I will link all the materials I'm using down below in the description box along with my coupon code so you can go directly to their site and grab these products. All of these products work great to make flower coasters.
So I filled up my mold almost to the rim. I added three ounces of that clear and I'm just going to pour in that galaxy pigment that we mixed up. This color is so gorgeous, you guys. It's really, really beautiful. And then I'm going to do a cinnamon roll swirl of my white that we mixed up. Just starting in the center, working my way out towards the perimeter of the mold. And like I said, I let my resin sit for 25 minutes before I started pouring, okay? You want to make sure you let your resin sit and you will get beautiful flowers. So now we're going to go in and draw the flower petals. When I do this, I like to think of a face of a clock. So do 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock and then split the difference in between those petals just like this. And I am using a silicone paintbrush to do this, and I'm just working on the surface of the resin. I'm not pushing down to the bottom of the mold, okay? I'm only working on the top of the resin. And then I do another petal starting from the center going out to the edge of the mold. I'm gonna do a little swirl in the center, but look at how pretty this was looking. That galaxy pigment is amazing. And if you use it with a black color, it completely changes to a different color. It's a really, really cool pigment. I highly recommend it. And the ocean white um, liquid pigment works fantastic to make flowers. Like I said, you only need one drop in one ounce of clear. I let this cure for 24 hours. Here we are getting ready to take it out of the mold. I was really excited to see how this turned out. It looked so pretty from the backside and it turned out amazing. That galaxy pigment gave a really cool sparkle to this piece. And you can see I got some really fun texture around the rim of the flower, which was kind of cool. I was not expecting that. I think it turned out amazing. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I hope you give this a try. The key to making these is your resin being the correct temperature. So like I said, if you use the Let's Resin regular epoxy, mix it up. Let it sit for 25 minutes, make your flower, and you will get beautiful results if you use the same products that I use. Um, if, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave me a like, and I will see you guys soon for another video. Don't forget to follow me for more videos like this, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Naptime Creations, and check out Let's Resin for all your resin products. Discount code NAPTIME. Bye, guys.